Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Football Adda with DK and this is our preview series and this is preview for Grim Week 8. Uh, so I'm Deb and with me. Hello, this is Krish. Exactly. And uh, hope you have liked our previous videos and do mention in comments uh, uh, all the predictions, your predictions and please join our uh, FPL uh, channel, FPL uh, the, the, the league. Uh, the team, yeah. League. Uh, the team, yeah. yeah. Like the league, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, in game week 8, we have many exciting matches and we have a super Sunday fixture also. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, it's a blockbuster Sunday. Yes, blockbuster uh, Sunday. Uh, yeah, it's a blockbuster Sunday. Exactly. We'll see how that happens. Exactly. Uh, so, okay. Uh, we'll start one by one. Uh, first, we'll start uh, with the Saturday matches. So, first one is Luton Town versus Tottenham Hotspur. Your prediction. Let's start with you this time. Let's start with you. You start. Okay. Uh, so, guys, considering uh, Tottenham's run, unbeaten run, uh, so I have to give advantage to Tottenham this time and I'm expecting a 4-0 win for Tottenham. Uh, what about you? Nice, nice. Yeah, that, that I, I concur actually. This, uh, it's a good prediction, I would say. Uh, considering Luton Town, uh, Tottenham should score uh, at least that much uh, that is, that you said, 4-0. Uh, they should get uh, that much amount of goal on the total uh, sheet. Uh, but uh, for me, specifically from, from my perspective, I would say uh, maybe Tottenham scores 3-0 with over Luton Town. Uh, let's see how that goes. It, it's okay. uh, almost similar, but yeah, yeah it's one Okay, so let's see whether uh, Tottenham is keeping a clean sheet and uh, scoring 3-4 goals or Luton Town is making Look, some I, I shock move. Think, okay. I, I don't think uh, they'll be able to score. Yeah, that's true. Tottenham. That's true. Okay, uh, so now going to the second one. It is Burnley versus Chelsea and it is Burnley's home game. Uh, yeah, so we need to see how that works because see currently the form with Chelsea is not. We hey, cannot expect uh, don't Chelsea. don't say that. Okay, you you told last time that Chelsea is going to lose uh, versus Brighton in the League Cup, and uh, we all know the result. See, this this is actually um, if you have seen the match, uh, Brighton uh, missed at least four to five chances. So they, they could have scored two to three goals. Joao Pedro, Sanchez was almost, uh, he came out and Joao Pedro missed the chance uh, lobbing it on top of his head. So that's an easy chance. Uh, th these are missed chances. This is not Cali caliber to Chelsea, I would say. But yeah, Chelsea played well, but that is a cup match. This is There is a huge difference between cup matches and league fixtures. And okay. I, I don't think uh, Chelsea in the current form. I think Chelsea will lose and uh, Burnley will win. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm very disheartened to say this, but Burnley will win this match 1-0. Hmm. Okay. So, your prediction is for Burnley, it is 1-0. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, this time I'll not go with you. I'm giving a win to Chelsea. Uh, but the score line is similar, but I'm giving a win to Chelsea. So, it's 1-0 for Chelsea from my side. Okay. Uh, so, the next match of the week, it is Everton versus Bournemouth. So, uh, Bo uh, Everton, uh, I don't know what they are doing. They defeated <coughs> Brighton 3-1 and then next week, they lost to Luton Town by, by two goals. So, their form is kind of fluctuating. Okay. Uh, so, very difficult to predict. Uh, very difficult to predict. Uh, but considering both sides and all, I'm, I think this could be a draw. Maybe Bournemouth uh, having a little bit age, but uh, still I'll give a draw for this match and I'm giving a 1-1 scoreline for Everton and Bournemouth. You. Uh, yeah. that, that is actually uh, it's quite sensible uh, prediction. But I, I would give this edge to Everton. From me, uh, from my end, I think uh, Everton might win this match, being it a home match for Everton. And uh, last season, if you remember, we we saw some uh, during the end of the season almost Everton miraculously defeated exactly. some maybe Manchester United or Arsenal with at least two, three or four goals. If yeah, you remember. Yeah. I, I, and they I, saved relegation. Yeah, and saved relegation on top of my head. So I, I would say Everton winning this match 1 0. 
means i this is quite unpredictable because of the form of everton but i would still say everton might win this match uh, 1-0 maybe a dirty goal from somewhere uh, okay. maybe position wise everton doesn't dominate but i i would i see uh, everton winning this match maybe cheap tricks or something yeah, but still okay uh, so now going to the next one this fulham versus sheffield united you yeah. ah okay yeah. so uh, for this uh, it's uh, actually see sheffield united just got thrashed by newcastle united uh, for eight goals right so uh, fulham uh, i would say fulham is not that consistent but fulham uh, see fulham has lost their main goal scorer that is uh, mitrovic right so but still still i would but, say but they're, they're, they're somehow they're managing Yeah, some of the there are a lot of good players like uh, Palinha, Willian. This guy is Pereira. Yeah. This guy keeps on playing and manages to keep on scoring, right? Exactly. Uh, yeah. I think they have got uh, there's the Mexican striker, right? Jimenez. So that that guy is a yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach. Yes, yes, yes. Ul the ex ex Ul striker. Yeah. Yeah, Raul Jimenez. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah so I think uh, Fulham might manage this. Uh, I mean, this would be kind of a win for Fulham with two zero. But okay. you know these kind of fixtures, uh, means you play Fulham against uh, Manchester City, they might surprise you and win that one zero. And yeah. suddenly next week when Fulham plays with Luton Town and they defeat, get defeated by two uh, zero or so. This kind of fixture is pretty much yeah, uh, yeah unpredictable. unpredictable. Or, you know, yes. Yeah, what happens with the small teams? It's very difficult to. Uh, That's true. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, no so offense to Fulham. Fulham is actually <laughs> a good yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, so my prediction is kind of uh, similar to yours, but I'm giving uh, one goal to uh, Fulham. So it's obvious win for Fulham, and uh, a result could be one zero. And Sheffield. Oh my God! Actually, they are facing uh, uh, one after the other, back to back, like. Uh, Uh, challenging teams. For example, you said first they faced Newcastle, then next week they faced West Ham. Uh, so they are kind of uh, like moral-wise, they are little bit down, I believe, this moment. That's why uh, I think Fulham should get that advantage from this match. Okay. Anyways, uh, so next one, I'm going to the next one. It is Manchester United versus Brentford. Uh, so uh, let me. uh see actually we uh, you might have seen that match uh, versus uh, who crystal palace. crystal palace so manchester is very much unpredictable right now and vulnerable uh, they defeated crystal palace same team in league cup 3 days back and then they got defeated by the same team after just 3 days that is my point that is my point being the difference between cup matches and league fixtures that's yeah. why i mentioned that point that is a prime example of that <laughs> okay yeah could be that could be actually in in crystal palace match you saw right uh, like manchester united was all over the field they they were dominating all the areas oh, yeah. uh, but somehow they were not able to score the goals so considering that i am giving uh, si- since this is a home game but still uh, they are losing the home games also nowadays but still i am expecting manchester to bounce back at least in this match uh, with a 2-1 result but but i am expecting that they'll consider goal also uh, considering the defense situation lisandro martinez is out regulon is out so uh, considering that i am expecting a 2-1 result at least uh, so you're pretty <laughs> yeah so i uh, see i this is not uh, too much difficult for me uh see <laughs> i i i predict uh, united to score a goal at the very beginning of the match and brentford will uh, equalize and it will be a 1-1 draw okay that means manchester is going to lose this one again oh yeah, my god yeah. oh no, 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 that is not true you you know your predictions are cursed <laughs> specifically for manchester united whenever you predict a, a draw or a defeat Uh, sorry uh, yeah manchester united will definitely lose that i, I, I that, know that that is not true that, that is, a prime example is the crystal versus crystal palace oh my god that, that is not true but uh, <laughs> see frankly speaking brentford is actually a good team and uh, even without uh, ivan tony i think uh, buemo wisa norgard these guys uh, will manage to score at least one goal 
and uh, crystal palace proves that uh, old trafford is not that impenetrable and uh, people can put on uh, no, know, no, no, that, that, yeah that, that is already that is already goal, uh, broken you, you need one minute for a goal and waste 89 minute manchester can dominate you you just have to the same thing happened in crystal palace match yeah that is what i'm saying so brentford can do that but i think they will concede one and uh, maybe score okay. one so that's why you won that okay uh so going to the last match of the game uh, of the saturday uh so it is crystal palace versus <laughs> nottingham forest so crystal palace they are already charged up after defeating manchester united united in old trafford so what is your prediction for this match i i think uh, being this uh, crystal palace home match I, i would still give the edge to nottingham forest for this specific match i would give them the win okay and that is also a 1-0 win so you are saying uh, crystal palace will fail to score even a single right. goal okay right okay so yeah, mine is okay that that to in home yeah so mine is kind of similar to yours i am also giving h to nottingham forest obviously but uh, uh, my score line i'm uh, my prediction is 2-1 for uh, nottingham forest so i'm expecting at least uh, to score them one goal let's see what happens okay. okay so now going to the sunday matches uh, sunday many exciting fixtures oh my god so first one is brighton versus liverpool yeah this will be actually a this will be a very nice fixture to see uh, see given the current form of brighton and uh, deservedly openly said that it, they are finding it very difficult to manage all the competitions now that brighton is playing european championship as well right so that is why we see this fluctuating results of brighton means brighton uh, is currently in the top half of the table right and mm. also in within maybe 1 to 5 or 6 right so they are getting defeated by chelsea in the cup match right they are getting defeated by uh, other teams in the premier league they, they, they the got they got actually. thumped by aston villa 6-1 6-1 yeah. so yeah. so uh, they they are simultaneously playing matches in europe as well so this this has uh, this came on to be a quite a toll for the players and these are we said that this is impacting the players and uh, they, they are not exactly accustomed to uh, play at True. this level right like see we all know man united chelsea tottenham arsenal liverpool city these are the, the top elite teams they are uh, they are means accustomed to play european championship as well as league level match <laughs> that's why we say they, they 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 are the top level teams of epl right right that is a fact you can oppose uh, you can oppose for what whatever team you, you want but uh, yeah but that is no, that's fact. true actually yeah, yeah yeah that is true yeah so now that brighton is playing at a top tier level and uh, they, they, they are not able to manage that uh, yeah it's uh, that's why it is impacting the performance Okay. So considering that uh, now and Liverpool is on I don't know what form is on Liverpool but Liverpool is actually uh, I think it's a good contender for title challenge uh, this year. Yeah. They can challenge Ar- not only Arsenal but City as well. Arsenal doesn't look that that strong uh, it looked last year. Uh, I don't see Arsenal uh, doing a title challenge for this. I think Liverpool uh, will challenge a lot for uh, to City. And uh, they are making good comebacks uh, after the second half and they are the comeback Klopp kings now yeah. yeah yeah so klopp is putting multiple brilliant strategies uh, as and when needed mm-hmm. and uh, so for this specific reason uh, and that is also a brighton home match so i i don't see this being a low scoring game uh, this will be a high scoring game brighton will score two goals and liverpool will obviously come back and manage to score two more goals okay uh, yeah but there are two red cards here that we need to we need to check that uh, jota will not play yes and uh, and who was that is jones that is jones will not play so yeah. liverpool will lack a striker uh, but yeah gakpo will manage that darwin nunes will manage that but still i see this going as 2-2 maybe liverpool manages to score a third at the end uh, it might go in favor of liverpool but for that that is a maybe i i would give this a two okay so so you are not giving a win to liverpool you are expecting a draw I, uh, 
yeah for this specific match okay. i would give them okay two. because brighton see are on the are on the back of multiple defeats mm-hmm. and i think brighton will come back uh, to a uh, to to a show that also in uh, their home match i okay. think brighton will come back but they will not be able to get past liverpool and same for liverpool as well okay uh so mine is i'll i'll kind of differ with you in this uh, particular prediction because, because <laughs> considering brighton's uh, form back to back they lost to chelsea they got thumped by aston villa so kind of i'm thinking they are morally little bit down at this moment and liverpool also they failed to uh, win versus tottenham because of two red cards and then the last minute uh, that own goal and all So, uh, <laughs> anyway, so so Liverpool is having that desire to come back in this match, even and Brighton also similar thing. But uh, I am expecting kind of like Liverpool is going to dominate this match, and they will win this one with their tagline score three one. Maybe it could be four one also, but I am giving three one because my predictions are generally don't match. So I don't uh, want Liverpool to win this match with three one. That's why I am predicting it three one. Okay. <laughs> so actually yeah, I I don't know what is uh, what is the attachment of Liverpool with this 3-1 for exactly, this Exactly in all season. competition they are yeah. they are scoring the in, same in yeah. most competitions and most matches they're scoring exactly. 3-1 Okay so let's see this time I can break this or not guys otherwise uh, I don't know Okay so next one uh, it's again another exciting fixture it is West Ham versus Newcastle United Hmm this is a good fixture actually Exactly. Uh, and very, very unpredictable. Yeah. Ah, uh, very unpredictable one, right? Because. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I will go after you. I, I, okay. I will see. I will assess what is in your mind. Then I will. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, see, see, ah, uh, see. West Ham is kind of uh, in a very comfort zone at this moment because they are winning back-to-back matches, and same goes for uh, Newcastle also. Ah, uh, and specifically after that Aston Villa match, there is uh, they are in. full of energy they are with full of energy and uh, uh, so, uh, so so th- that confidence they got back so uh, considering these facts uh, what i'm expecting uh, a 2-2 draw between this side two, two sides i'm i'm not uh, maybe it could be an other other way also but from my side i'm expecting a 2-2 draw between uh, west ham and newcastle now yours that's a that's a good uh, prediction actually because that might be true uh Newcastle we know very unpredictable this this these matches uh, right in goes for West Ham but see uh, I, for this specific match i don't know i think uh, it's, it's kind of uh, echoing at the back of my head that uh, West Ham might win this might win <laughs> okay. this so, yeah, so <laughs> I, i would go with West Ham for this particular one and uh, uh and what what is this okay so 10 for west ham yeah so you are saying that even after that uh, strong week also newcastle will fail to manage uh, even, yeah. even a single goal from 8 yeah. goals to 0 yeah okay i think it will be 10 for west ham okay 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 let's see what happens uh next moving to the next one next fixture this is also a uh, exciting one uh because it is wolves versus aston villa so wolves they defeated manchester city oh my god giant last week and aston villa that 6-1 versus brighton so what is your prediction for this match i i uh, see this that the previous match that was also a wolves home match uh, if you remember it was a yes. wolves home match where manchester city lost to one Yes. Right? So, so considering that fact, uh, at least I means I mean not considering that fact uh, for this specific match, I would say Aston Villa will win this match. Given that Oli Watkins came into form and uh, yes. this guy can become a goal machine. Yeah, he scored uh, a hat trick, I think, last last day. Scored a hat trick yeah. and uh, maybe one assist as well. I'm sure. Uh, this guy can become a goal machine. So I yeah. think uh, West Ham will win this match. Uh, 
2-0. So for Aston Villa. So win is for Aston oh, Villa. Sorry, and... I will, sorry, I will, I will, sorry, West Ham, not West Ham. So Aston Villa, yeah. yeah. Aston Villa will win this match, please. Okay. So Aston Villa will win this 2-0 uh, as per you. So yeah, mine is kind of similar to yours. But, uh, I could have been uh, spreading the same scoreline 2-0 for Aston Villa. But considering the Pedro Neto's form, oh my God, he is in a different uh, form this, the, this season. So considering that, I'm giving one goal to uh, Ulz. So from my side, prediction is 2-1 for Aston Villa. We, uh, obviously for Aston Villa. But the score line is 2-1. So so we'll see the audacity of uh, both of us, actually, I would say. Uh, <laughs> even though Wolves defeated on their home Manchester City, the exactly. league topper, yeah. we are still expecting Wolves to lose on their <laughs> home against Aston Villa. Yeah, because <laughs> no, the, the, there is a reason. Because uh, Aston Villa, because you have to uh, consider the opponent's form also. Aston Villa is in another uh, level. So, uh, uh, so but they, they is, defeated is it, Brighton by 6-1. But they defeated Manchester City. Yeah, that's they are true. league toppers. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but still, uh, th- that's a one kind of uh, like one of uh, kind of performance. Uh, yeah, so that, that that is what I am also thinking. That might be a fluke, and this yeah. might not continue. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, let's see what happens. So, so from that yeah. point of view, actually, we are predicting. Yeah. Okay. If, if Wolves do manage to get the same uh, score, I think they would be a yeah. good. That will be really good if they yeah, can yeah. defeat Aston Villa. Well. And and that 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 will uh, indicate like that Wolves has turned their uh, their performance this season because they started right. with a low, right? right. They got defeated exactly. back to back. But exactly. if this week, this week also they managed to win this versus Aston Villa, then uh, definitely uh, we have to consider Wolves as another contender for the like uh, that uh, uh, five to top ten spot. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Bottom half of the top half. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so guys, now this is the blockbuster fixture of the Sunday. It is. Arsenal versus Manchester City from the Emirates. Yeah. Oh my God. So Manchester United, uh, sorry, Manchester City. I think they'll be desperate to come back. Yeah. The, see, that is that is my point actually. I I would for for me from me my prediction would be Manchester City winning this match two one. Uh, specifically for that reason you just mentioned, they will be desperate. Yes. I don't think uh, Guardiola will just uh, let lose uh, any of the team members who who just got defeated to uh, Wolves. And, <laughs> uh, you know, it's a it's a funny fact. Uh, like uh, in the press conference before Wolves match, Guardiola said that uh, he was just mentioning yeah good players in Wolves and the Korean guy. Yeah, yeah. He was not able to he was not able to remember that person's name. Oh. And that guy, it was a Wolves admin that uh, posted after the match. Okay. Uh, yeah, the last goal was scored by the Korean guy. That is okay, uh, okay. Wang Yishan. <laughs> okay, okay. If you remember Wang Yishan. Yeah. Nice, nice. So yeah, it was just uh, it was kind of a uh, you no know, like uh, <laughs> to Guardiola, but yes. yeah, rubbing rubbing his face off kind of like that. But yeah, yeah. so the, 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 I don't think Guardiola will just uh, let go of this thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, City not winning. City has to win this match. Mm. Uh, I can see a draw as well, but mm. I expect City to win this match 2 1. Okay, yeah, uh, could be. So, from my side, I am predicting it as a draw. It's a 2 2 draw uh, because uh, definitely, uh, as you said, Manchester City will be desperate to win this and they'll uh, use the, all their uh, uh, strategy and all the master players, everything. But on the other hand, Arsenal, if you see, they have not uh, lost a single match this, uh, like uh, until now. Tottenham and Arsenal, these two teams only. So, and last week also they defeated uh, some team by four goals. So, uh, of course, uh, so I'm not expecting Arsenal to uh, let go this one, at least from in their home ground. So, Don't know that is, yeah, last week. Yeah, yeah, bone, 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 bone mouth maybe. Uh, so I'm not expecting Arsenal to le- let go this match uh, and that too specifically they're at their home ground. So considering that, I'm expecting a 2-2 draw. Um, maybe it it could go to Arsenal, it could go to Manchester City, uh, but but still I'm feeling like it could it could it could be 2-2. Uh, 
okay that that would be nice actually i would also want arsenal to maybe make it a draw or even arsenal can win if if it if they can win it would be really nice yeah, exactly to check to let me not let city out of its comfort comfort zone and, yeah, exactly uh, to, and to how do they come back in the next patches yeah yeah nice. and and we we kind of like in epl see epl is never a one horse game right Uh, mm-hmm. other leagues if you consider like uh, bundesliga or uh, the french league it it is always some some specific thing every year they are winning uh, they, uh, the, the competition is there for the second or third position right. but epl is a kind of league where uh, even 20th team can defeat the first or there, there are lot of competitions there are at least 6 7 giants so but nowadays mm-hmm. we are seeing that epl also becoming a one horse like manchester city whoever is facing manchester united manchester defeating them and they mm-hmm. are winning back to back like three times they won like in a row so uh, mm-hmm. we don't we we want uh, to break that uh, uh, exactly. regime of manchester city okay yeah yeah exactly i i, I specifically get very happy when manchester gets defeated city and united anyways yeah manchester united is <laughs> anyhow uh, losing all the matches then what else you need why you are so happy anyhow they are losing uh, chelsea and still is not still, st- still you want them to lose no, i am just in depression so i just want <laughs> someone to accompany me <laughs> united can do that yeah. but but, but but you have friends like everton then you have <laughs> like luton town uh, then then why you need manchester united Yeah, yeah yeah very soon we would have friends in the EPL EFL championship <laughs> no, no that is too much okay no no that will happen that that no happen. you always underestimate chelsea that that <laughs> that that part i don't like okay uh, i know you are a die hard fan obviously and this is a kind of frustration of uh, it uh, when it comes out but uh, but still don't underestimate you, you, you believe me chelsea will will turn this around 100% let's see let's see i hope i hope <laughs> okay so guys uh, that is what uh, the uh, preview of the game week 8 so don't miss this uh, exciting uh, sunday fixtures especially especially the blockbuster sunday fixture Man- arsenal versus manchester city lots of great matches actually uh, uh, exactly especially sunday brighton liverpool arsenal man city west ham newcastle west ham newcastle yeah. wolves aston all that that one also same obviously yeah, wolves yeah. aston okay super sunday super sunday a true super sunday yeah yeah <laughs> okay uh, so we'll come back with a review or uh, definitely of the game week 8 so until then uh, hit the like button if you liked our uh, discussion and video and also uh, subscribe to football at the with dk okay. exactly okay uh, so krish bye for today bye bye bye